Hi, everybody. My name is Dave Tingley. I'll be the color commentator for the Magic this year on the live stream. Thanks for joining us today on Magic TV. Uh, earlier, I had a chance to speak to the brand new point guard for the Moncton Magic, Al Stewart. So, Al, you come to the uh, Magic as a native of Chicago. So, welcome to the city. And uh, who introduced you to the game back in the Windy City? Um, I had a guy in the neighborhood. Uh, his name is Curtis Johnson. Um, he was, you know, big fan of basketball. You know, a big fan of helping with the community and things like that. Uh, he introduced me with the game. I say in about grade seven, I believe. Yeah. So you uh, you went to school back in uh, Chicago with a guy who joined the league there just recently as a as a rival in Cape Breton, Luther Head. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't think a lot of people even know that. Like we played together three years in high school, and uh, he went on to Illinois, you know, and uh, then obviously the NBA, you know. Yeah, uh, Wikipedia is a great thing. I went I did did my homework. Man, I, I can't believe it. A lot of people actually don't know that, but they will know it this year though. So it's they'd be excited to play against him this yeah, year. Yeah, an ex NBA guy in the league. It's uh, it's pretty good for the league too. Yeah, it is. It really is. Yeah, yeah. a lot of exposure. So after you played in D one at Drake in Iowa, you. Uh, Started your pro career in the Premier Basketball League with uh, with Coach Joe there. And whether it's there or the NBL, you've kind of moved around a lot, which isn't out of the ordinary for this league or the other pro leagues around. So can you talk a little bit about the tough parts of moving from city to city and some of the maybe some of the great parts too? Um, the tough part is obvious, you know, moving from city to city. Uh, being from Chicago, you know, going to small cities, to big cities, to suburban cities. And, uh, I mean, it's, it's definitely difficult uh, leaving family family and friends behind. But, I mean, I love basketball. It took me a lot of different places. Uh, um, the difficult part is food, <laughs> you know, learning new food and things like that. Like I went to China a little bit and, you know, Brazil and – just can adapt to it, you know, used to my mom and grandmother's home cooking meals and things like that. So I had to, you know, grow up out of that and learn on my own. Um, but it's been great. Um, the good thing about it. You must get some help, too, from the, from the locals about where to, where to eat, where to get the stuff you need, where to get the stuff you like. I do. I, I'm not a stranger to asking questions, you know. I try to see what's what's the, the best, you know, when I go to different restaurants, ask them, uh, you know, what do they recommend and things like that. So I kind of, like, watch a lot, a lot of things online, too. Yeah. So you moved with Coach Learner to a couple times in your career. So what is about his style of play or maybe the, the coaching style that you appreciate about Joe? Um, he's the player's coach. He's a player's coach. Um, you know, he listens. He, you know, takes feedback. He doesn't just drill, drill, drill. Um, he understands the game. You know, he works hard. He's, literally, we have to tell him to take a day off. <laughs> I mean, he just goes 24 hours a day, you know, lose the game. He's probably can't sleep. He's like, I'm, I'm the same way sometimes, too. I kind of I think he kind of rubbed that off on me. But um, he's the player's coach, man. He understands the game. He loves to have fun with it, you know, just – been wonderful. Great, great. So fans that are uh, new to your game a little bit for uh, the new Moncton Magic uh, franchise, I describe you as a kind of a tough point guard who could score the ball a little bit, but also you're but you make uh, you make your bones kind of smoothly running on offense, and then on the defensive end making things anything but smooth for the for the backcourt on the other end. Is that uh, that a pretty fair description by me? Yeah, it really is. A lot of people don't know I can score, but I really can. Um, top ten all time in the league. I'll, yeah. I'll get that in for you. Your top ten all time in the league. <laughs> yeah, I can. I can score the ball, but I mean, you know, my my offense comes from my defense. You know, I set the tone on defense, and it just goes from there. And um, and that's what kind of leader I am. Um, basically, if I you know set the tone, like I said. Uh, other guys just follow, and, and, and that's how it's been. You know, I think if my defense is lacking, I think they'll you know, kind of follow the same trend. So I try to be on top of my defensive game, and that creates my offense as well. And that's what Coach Joe talked about when you were the first signing for the team once, once Coach Joe came over here. He talked a lot about that, about you being a, the leadership qualities being what he really most appreciated about you. Yeah, I mean, he knew that since day one. You know, I was kind of leader by default because I was a point guard. But honestly, over the years, he helped develop me into a great vocal leader. I was just always just a leader just by pointing and, you know, just, you know, leading by example. But he, he, he learned, he, he taught me to be a great vocal leader, and I think it helped me out so much in life. Yeah. 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 So some, for people that don't know, we're talking to the all-time steals leader in the league as well and a two-time defensive player of the year. And you got to take pride in that because that normally goes to the big guys. Yeah, true. So as a point guard, that's got to be a source of pride for you. Right. I mean, the first time it happened, like, honestly, before I won the first one here, I was, you know, I won in a few other leagues as well, um, but I won it here. I was, you know, kind of shocked a little bit, but, I, you know, I work hard on defense. You know, I, even if it's not steals, it's just stopping the other guy from scoring. And then I won it again. I was just totally shocked. I didn't see that one coming, but I was, you know, taking my hats off. And I'm trying to do it every time, every time I get on the court. So you've been to, to two NBL finals on the island, okay? No finals wins as of yet. So what is it about this franchise sort of was, I guess, when you signed, you were the first one. But is it now that you've been here a little bit and talked to Coach Salerno and, talk, and see the guys, the, how the roster's shaping up, you consider yourself a finals contender here right off the bat in the first year? I do. I do. I mean, Joe started with me. You know, he had some tricks up his sleeves, obviously, right? Uh, it starts with the point guard, I guess, you know, mostly. Um, but then as, as the months went past, I started to – 
I started to see him um, just bringing other players. Like, okay, I'm like, okay, how did you get this guy? You know, so he, he put together a winning team, and we have a great, you know, nucleus of guys so far. So we just got to put it together, and I believe we will be a contender in the finals this year. So you're one of the players who's really been out in the community a lot since you got here. We talked a little bit about that, about you going to schools and, and, uh, and things like that. So uh, what's your sense of the community so far? What kind of a basketball town do you think Moncton is? You know what? It's been great so far. Um, obviously, playing against Moncton over the last several years, the fan base was, you know, okay. Um, so I'm like, these guys must haven't been in the schools as much. But uh, that's something we did in PEI a lot. We got in the schools, you know, and different in the community and things like that. And we did it, you know here from right off the jump you know as soon as we got here and it's been great so far i mean we we talk to the kids about resilience and you know it'd be different topics throughout the year but i mean we hit it we hit it we hit it we hit the nail, nail in the coffin right now so i mean it's been wonderful it's been, it's been a great feeling really good and i think uh, uh, you speak to that about how the, the the experience with the miracles franchise before i think the difference probably would be and you might agree um the fact that there's a really stable ownership who really wants to run the team not doing a not kind of doing a favor to the city but really wants to be involved and i think that's probably do you get a sense that they maybe the the community is a little more um, enthused because of they, they can sense that too from the ownership? Oh yeah, they can tell. You know, they can tell the difference between uh, someone who generally cares and someone who just won't won't ticket sales. You know, um, um talk, come talking to the owner, you know, obviously the coach, um, that's that's something that I, I take pride in too, you know, uh, making making kids smile, making, you know, the community feel like we're all a big family while we're we're home away from home right now. So we all in this together, you know, so we gotta take this, you know, by one and just bring it home, you know. So last year you posted uh, uh, near highs or career highs in all the shooting percentages. So three-point land. Three really? Points, yeah. <laughs> I did my research on Wikipedia. <laughs> and free throws. So okay. So we're here in the lab, one of the great sponsors of the, of the match. Do you think uh, this is going to be something that's going to help you go to even greater heights on those numbers? Oh, this is a great place. You know, I had you know, we had a few of these in college, but I didn't take full, uh, full advantage of it. Right now, as, as adults, man, this is something that can help anyone out from whatever age you are this is a tremendous tremendous build and uh you come in you can have no choice but to get better if you put the hard work in so we're happy to be here we didn't have this other places i played at so we will take full advantage i will make sure i do it and other guys as well